I'm here at the southern border, uh, right here where people are crossing into our country. Uh, and we're here, I'm here with a number of other governors from across the country to draw attention to this. Our president uh, has not been down here to the border, and we have a humanitarian and national security crisis. All right, that was Montana Governor Greg Gianforte on the southern border yesterday. He was one of 11 governors to visit the border and announce a plan with solutions to the crisis. The governor joins us now. Good to see you, sir. Hi, Sean and Lindsay. Good to be with you. Governor, I want to start off with a, a really tough question. Um, how hard was it to get there? It seems like for those of us in Washington, uh, it, it's got to be really, really hard to get there, which is clearly why the president's not been there. Was it tough for you? Well, it was not hard. This is not my first trip to the border. And you might ask, what? why it, Why is a guy from Montana concerned about the southern border? We got uh, presentations yesterday from uh, Border Patrol agents, from local uh, public safety officials. These narcotics coming across the border are making it into all of our communities. And because of the lack of leadership out of the Biden administration, literally every state now is a border state. And let me ask you about that, because as you're mentioning, there were a lot of governors from non-border states there. What else are you seeing that is affecting you specifically from this border crisis? Well, we've got both a humanitarian, as I mentioned in the, in the teaser you put at the beginning, both a humanitarian and a national security crisis. Uh, just so far this year, uh, we've seen enough fentanyl coming into this country that was confiscated that would have been a lethal dose for the entire U.S. population seven times over. In July alone, uh, the, the, the officials along the border confiscated almost nine tons of methamphetamine. So what impact does that have on a state like Montana? Uh, we're seeing addiction rip through our communities. I talked to local law enforcement here in Montana. They share with me that 90% of the crime we're seeing is addiction related. We've eradicated Montana meth in the laws we've adopted. Now, the meth we're seeing is Mexican meth. It's coming across this porous border. And what these cartels are doing, this is big business, they will flood the zone. They'll run illegal immigrants across in one section of the border. And then while the Customs and Border Patrol provide humanitarian aid to them, they run the high value illegal immigrants across in an adjacent sector, along with the drugs. And they're making, once they make it across the border, they're making it into communities all across this country. We're seeing more violent crime and our communities literally ripped apart by addiction. Yeah, I know. We mentioned that you guys had this 10-point plan. You, were, you didn't just go to look. You came out of there with a plan. One of the points that you mentioned was sending a message that the borders are closed, but that's obviously not the case. Take a look at this report. They're still coming now because of worsening economic conditions in South America, where some had settled and the belief they might now be allowed to stay in the U.S. So, I mean, Governor, yeah. here's the thing that's interesting. A, I applaud you for the plan. But B, I actually think that the biggest thing that could happen is for them to stop winking and nodding and saying, you know, the border's closed and come on in at the same time. I, I got to believe the strongest thing that this administration could do was send a much stronger signal that you're not going to get in. Well, they need to change the policy. Uh, this the number of illegal immigrants coming across our southern border has increased every single month since President Joe Biden's been in office. Last month, uh, we saw over 200,000 people. They're apprehended and then released. So far this year, we've seen 1.3 million people come into the country illegally. That's more than the population of our entire state of Montana. It's more than nine states in the United States. The, the, what had been happening is when people were apprehended, they were and claimed asylum, they were sent back to Mexico uh, until their uh, hearing date. What happens now is they're given an appointment two years in the future and put on a bus and sent to your local community. Uh, this has got to stop. And as long as we reward people for coming, they're going to keep coming. 
Yep. Right, and they are coming. I want to bring up this because in September, you and 24 other governors asked President Biden to meet with you to bring an end to this national security crisis. Have you heard back from him? We haven't. This is what prompted this visit to the border. It was actually 26 governors. That means a majority of the governors in the United States sent a joint letter to President Biden and said, please sit down with us, hear us out. We have ideas on how to fix this. And what we got back was crickets. That's why yesterday, uh, 11 governors convened on the South in South Texas at the border to get a briefing, to look firsthand, and to put forward this 10-point plan that we know will work to end this crisis at our southern border. Governor, before we go, I, I'm, and I'm being serious when I ask you this, because it seems that it's an easy fix. To your point, you put these policies back in place. So in all honesty, do you think that they truly want to solve this problem, or do you think that they just want to pay it lip service? Well, uh, honestly, Sean, I'm not sure because we're not getting any feedback. We can't get a return right. phone call. Joe Biden is asleep at the wheel on this issue. He thinks by ignoring it, it'll go away. It's getting worse. We need leadership out of the White House. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.